Hello everyone and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. My name is Tom, otherwise known as Titanium Legman, and today we're going to be recording the final episode of Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, it seems like the series isn't doing super well on the channel, and I did say if it ever seemed like it was not going to be uh, something that would be taking hold with everyone, that I would call it, I was going to do a limited series anyway. And whether it's just due to a lack of interest in this series as a whole, or my presentation of it, or the issues with the game outside of this series, with CD Projekt Red and the various distribution issues and quality issues and all that. Uh, for whatever reason, it hasn't taken off, and that's okay. There's a few people that have been watching the episodes, and I hate leaving something without a definitive end, so we're going to end it here today. We're going to go, we're going to go talk to Judy, we're going to see what she has to say, we're going to see if there's any little story beats or anything we can wrap up, and then we'll let this one ride. That said, if for whatever reason interest in the series picks back up, or there's a particular demand for it, I will have this save preserved, even though I'm going to be playing the game in my own time just for myself. So we can always come back to it, if ever we want to. So, with that said, let's dive on back into Lizzie's bar. You have indeed. Had a good memory for faces. Here for a good time. Uh, no, actually, we're looking for Judy. We need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den? I didn't realize her name was Punch and Judy. Yep. Huh. Take the stairs down. Ah. Oh. Let Judy know you're coming. Cool that they're letting us in since they know us, even yeah, though it's not the normal time. And you're out. Your Although, oh no, it is actually the normal time. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I thought that it was earlier in the day, but it's actually six, seven o'clock, so they're open. Very good. She was embarrassing herself again. Hey, where are you going? Nothing to sit back here. Why? Judy's friend. Yeah, you know. See, your buddy knows. Listen to him. Kind of sass me. Joy toy, you need to come here. What the hell am I supposed to do with them all? I don't. Must be our rep. Girls need help, they come here. Last time I checked, we weren't running a shelter. Come on, they all deserve a chance. Anyone could end up useful. Give it some time. They'll pay for themselves. Pay? Chicks can barely take care of themselves. Not when they're face down in the mud. But who knows? It could surprise you. I hate surprises. Mm-hmm. Really feeling that sense of community right now. Suze, we're not done here. Oh, yeah, we fucking are. Uh-huh. Suzy Q, I presume? I think, was it Suzy Q? Or Suzy... Suzy someone. She's the owner of the bar, like, leader of the mocks, I think? If I remember correctly. You just don't give up, do you? Having a little bit of a spat. Got nothing more to say to each other. Thought I made that clear. Uh, but the too subtle for you. I think the mocks remind me of the nomads. Moxes and nomads don't seem so different. Both seem to yammer a lot about community, solidarity, classic dilemma. What comes first, family or the outside this is world? A club. Nobody cares about your lofty world views. Hmm. Clearly, you care in some capacity, which is why you were just arguing with Susie. What was that all about? Everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn. Either you fly high or sink into quicksand. Mm-hmm. That your boss? Susie seems to know what she wants. Is she your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the mocks? Alright. Fine, let's get to the chase, shall we? Listen, have you seen Evelyn? I need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a high school. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Lady, 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 lady. She's the one who brought us in, remember? Seem to know how the heist went. Meaning you did talk to her. I know how you fucked up. Got all your Doombas killed like a real pro. Mm-hmm. All right. Where did she... Where did she go? What the? 
Oh, here. What the hell? She, like, vanished. Yeah, listen. She brought down the heist, not me. She commissioned the heist, not me. No, you're the one who fucked it up. Mm-hmm. You weren't there. You don't know Jack. Fine. Looks like we're all in this piss pot together. But you're desperate. Writing's on your face. Yeah, because I'm dying. Okay, let's just say I'm pretty much fucked. Biochip we clipped during the heist is killing me. Albeit slowly. Evie commissioned the job. I know how to stop that. That's why I need to know who hired her. Huh. Let's say I believe you. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. I'd look for her there. Where is that? Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Mm-hmm. Cigarette case, huh? Okay. Mega tower. Luxurious. Mm-hmm. All right, so Evelyn's a doll. Thanks, Judy, you're real helpful. Sure, she helped us. I'll give you a call, okay? Thanks. Thank you, V. There we go. All right. Whoop. Hey, Johnny. What's up, bud? A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram in a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, clouds? Why the hell not? Anything else to say? No? Alright, cool. I like that he manages to conjure up- oh, he's gone, that's awesome. He manages to conjure up a cigarette out of the ether, just to be cool. Like, you know, I've got limited space in your brain, but I'm gonna use it to get a cigarette together so that I can, you know, look like a badass. Alright. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. Judy's virtues? You're talking about how she looks, huh? Oh, I'm not that interested in her. Virtues out street dealers that were light years crisper. Congrats. No one cares. Apart from Judy. Oh, she'd love your feedback. What is a virtue? Like, what do they mean by that? Like, <laughs> got virtues off street dealers? What does that mean? Are we talking... Hmm. I don't know. I thought we were talking about her looks, but maybe not. Oh, Mr. Hands. They call me Mr. Hands. If you're looking for Pacifica jobs, call me. Name's V. Now what? No pleased to meet you? <laughs> I'm truly honored to meet you. You got any biz? Call me. Uh-huh. Is that where we're going? Pacifica? If you call me to... Or if you call me it's to talk biz, I don't do chit-chat. Fair enough. Mega Building H8. Alright. Let's see what this Mega Building's about, shall we? Trish, can you fucking chill? All right, what do we got going on at Mega Building H8? Whoa, boy. Whoa, boy. Busy traffic. Whoa! All right, sharp turn. Oh, car! All right, it's fine. Everything's fine. Why did we get a call from a guy in Pacifica, though? I don't think we're not going to Pacifica, as far as I can tell. 
Church. Sure, yeah, sure doesn't look like it. That was smooth, actually. Smoother than I expected it to be. Whoa, okay, maybe that's not as smooth, not as smooth, not as smooth. There we go. I thought we were turning a little bit earlier than we actually were. Here we go. Mega Building H8. What do we got going on in here? Bouncer of some kind? Seems hostile. Heard you ran a discount yesterday. Half price on everything. And I sold twice more stock than usual. So, you broke even? Yes. The goods were trash. I would have thrown them away. That was fucking rhetorical. The Stan's Tiger Claw's property. And your Tiger Claw's property. You had one job. Sell the stock, take the eddies, and do nothing gunk. Is that so hard? Is that clear? Run your fucking discounts when you get your own fucking stand. Which will be never. <laughs> Alright, I was wondering if we were going to have to step in here, but it seems like they're going to be chill. So, V said luxurious when talking about Mega Building H8, and I'm starting to feel like maybe he was being a little rhetorical. Thanks, Johnny. Appreciate it, buddy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Tiger Claws have ties to Arasaka. Why don't you believe Judy? Judy's lying. Why? A little something called intuition, V. Never heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Calling him. All right. Looking for any ambushes, any potential BS going down. But it seems like things might be legit for the most part. Hmm, this isn't going to be shady at all. Just bags of trash laying around. Alright, it's an actual club. Whoa. Welcome to the cloud. Ah. Uh. Where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? Uh huh. Yeah, jacking in the personal isn't you safe. Realize personal links aren't secure, right? Could get hit with malware straight to my core. End up paying an arm and a leg for a ripper dock. We need data from your core to pair you up with the doll. Meaning a biometric scan? Just that. If anything goes wrong, you can lodge a complaint. But that's never happened. Mm-hmm. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Does she work here? Hmm. Give me a moment. Yeah, she's probably calling up security now. Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. <laughs> the yes, algorithm. That will thrill you. Now, Our also, why were we getting scanned when we walked in here, huh? Yeah, I'm not a customer. 
I just want to talk to her. I just want to talk to her. That's all. Please, no need for concern. Oh my God. Your doll will talk to you about anything you wish. Check in, please. Oh, Johnny. Huh. I'm sorry. Did she finally say anything useful? Fuck the menu. Let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef. Point blank. <sighs> Meaning? Meaning? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their cards close, fine. We'll play our own game. Mm-hmm. You know why I'm here? You possibly know what I'm looking for. Clouds always knows. Your deepest desire, we find it. You'll have your needs fulfilled. And maybe much more. Less is not a word we use around here. Mm-hmm. Why did we get scanned on the way in? It must maybe some sort of high-tech security system or something? Alright, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. Mm-hmm. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Mm-hmm. Now for your safe word. Mm-hmm. Samurai. Samurai. And saved. Now bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. Uh huh. We're just straight up on a dating app, huh? Uh huh. Matches. Interesting. Is that normal or? Who can say what is normal? You're clearly a unique person with unique tastes. Our system can handle it. So who will it be? Angel or Sky? Who was who? I wasn't... I thought that we'd be picking on a screen where we could actually see them. Uh, well, I mean, we're not planning on getting it on with either of them anyway, so... Sky, I guess? Go with Sky. I couldn't have chosen better myself. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. Uh-huh. Don't want to pay. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're not here to pay, man. Here to pay and play. Just want some info. Ah, unfortunately, that we do not sell. Should you change your mind, come back. Mm-hmm. Can we just, like... Go. No. <laughs> of course. All right, fair enough. All right, I changed my mind. I'll pay. Temptation is often too strong to resist. Please jack in. There you go. All right. Hope oh, our cord disappeared. Interesting. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. Is that it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Mm-hmm. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. Sad. Go eat a dick, Johnny. <laughs> find any use yeah, 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 fine. All right, well, I guess this is how we're going to be able to f try and track down Evelyn then, huh? I don't like being unarmed. And I don't like that we don't even know where she is or if she's even here, but... Hmm. Disabled elevator. We're gonna go in there. We're gonna get jumped. Is exactly what's gonna happen. You a real deviant. What? What do you mean? Would have had more choices if I didn't have a certain brain parasite. What is even the issue here? 
Like, <laughs> what? what's more deviant than just being here in the first place? Bouncer? What do we got going on back here? Okay. <laughs> Alright, easy, buddy. I'm here every motherfucking week. You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes, I am. No, sir, you're not. You can take it up mm. with the manager. Hmm. No, I'm taking it up with you. Here, now. You got any idea who I am? Is there a problem? This conk don't understand that I've got a right to be in there. From what I can see, your VIP membership has been revoked. Say what now? Please stay calm, sir. Or we're gonna have to escort you outside. Mm hmm. Oh, no shortage of voice assets. I'll see. You're going back upstairs? In a minute. I need to piss first. Uh huh. Whoa, 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 whoa! He was asserting his dominance for a second there. Wait, can we just. We just go? What? It's just open? Why are we able to just walk in here? What? I feel like that wasn't supposed to happen. I feel like something glitched, but we're going to take full advantage while we can. Whatever stands to fuck me up the quickest. Foodie Guide to Night City. Alright. I feel like we should have gotten jumped for trying to walk in here, but I'm not gonna complain. Like, yes, I should be doing what the story wants me to do. However, this is interesting. Whoa, hostile area. Why? Whoa! Oh, nope, 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 nope. We're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving. Goodbye. Uh oh. Uh. I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. That's glass. I'm leaving, 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 I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone! I'm sorry! <laughs> I don't know why I was able to get in there, but I'm uh, leaving! Oh god, the elevator is disabled! I'm bouncing out of here! I'm sorry! It's fine. See, everything's fine. An algorithm pilots the doll's motor functions. It takes your profile data and transforms into experiences. I really in don't feel like time. this today. Uh, memory dampers on the doll's behavioral chip block any recall of the session. So there'll be no trace of the meeting. Well, I could say yes, but that would strip it of mystery and suspense, wouldn't it? Once on. you're in there, you set the stakes. You're saying it's not dangerous, but there's some risk involved. That is one way to put it. One thing is for sure. You never get what you expect. Consider my interest peaked. Okay, so weird probably shouldn't have been able to do what we just did, Niss aside. We have learned this about the dolls before, that they're basically sex workers who get their memories wiped after every session with a client. And as such, pretty much anything and everything goes, which is lots of questions to raise about that, put it that way. But uh, it definitely is something that makes sense for this world. Also, like, they're able to change in real time. I guess they must have a bunch of crazy cyber mods that, like, like she was saying, their hair color and eye color can change in real time and God knows what else. So uh, it's definitely interesting, but uh, questionable. But what isn't in this world? Now, the real question here, are we going to be able to go back inside, or have we somehow just, like, aggroed everything everywhere forever? Oh, we can't leave. 
Yeah, that man, uh, that man asserting his dominance and shifting forward, I think, broke everything. They're definitely all hostile. Well, end me. Oh, wait. Unless, can I get in the booth? Maybe I can get in the booth and that will unbreak everything. What do you what do you mean? Hello? I'm just looking for looking Evelyn Parker. For Evelyn Parker. Know where she might be? Parker? Come on. Uh, that was some drama. I don't know who started it though. Client or her. Is there anything you do know? You're talking to the wrong doll, honey. You really want to know? Talk to Tom. Even better, Woodman. Uh-huh. Who's Tom? Who's this Tom? Other than me. He and Evelyn, besties. If you want to know more, he's your guy. He work here? Pick of the literate clouds. He's over in the VIP area. Mm -hmm. Booth two. Mm-hmm. Where'll I find Woodman? Where'll I find Woodman? Back office. Upstairs. Are you sure you want to do that, though? Just said I should, didn't you? They'll kill you if you try. Well, why's that? What's this Woodman do? Nah. I'm done. On, I could get fired for all the shit I've told you already. Just get out. Huh. So I guess this is actually supposed to be able to happen, which is interesting. I don't know how we're supposed to live without any guns if you do this, but... Maybe just through the power of hacking? I don't know. Well, I mean, we're gonna milk this for all it's worth. Go, baby, go! Go, 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 go! Run! Flee! Escape! <laughs> Woodman! Uh oh. There we go. Hello, Woodman. I'm here. All of your guards could not protect you, sir. Oh, they're still chasing me. Who are you? What do you want? Uh. Keep calm. I'm looking for a girl. We're gonna get popped doing this. Uh cooperate and no one else will get hurt. Well Oh, alright. Well, we are just going to Sit down, son! <laughs> I may not be a fisticuffs master, but I'm more than enough to take you. Oh wait, did I get my wait, why am I over encumbered? Do I have my stuff again? No, I don't have anything. And I'm also not over encumbered. Why does it say I'm over encumbered? Oh dear. Oh, he got shots off. I am the inadvertent fisticuffs master, and you cannot deny my power. He hit us with something that's got us messed up, but I mean, we're getting him. We've got him down to 55% through the sheer old power of honorable combat. Thank God for your heavily armored chair, sir. Oh, God! Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. We definitely borked something there. That that got a little funky. I'm not going to lie. That got a little funky. So, interesting, like... How is it that you just go shoot your way through, then? I guess what you would do is you would follow... Uh, again, I don't know why the door to the VIP section opened. I don't think that was supposed to happen. But I think what's supposed to happen there is if you want to, you can follow the Tiger Claw into the bathroom, gank him, take his gun, and then start shooting up the club if you wanted to. Because, like, obviously there's a reason that they have all of these reactions and all this dialogue and everything programmed in. I'm betting that's how you go about doing it. But I don't think that's the way we're going to do it. Oh, no, oh, we are auto-saved here. Uh, all right, hold on one second. Let me see if I can fix this. Okay, we did it. We're back. We're good. Okay, I had to go back another save, but we got to where we needed to be. So, 
let's see what happens if we don't inadvertently break the game and are actually able to talk to people normally and maybe proceed the way we intended to in the first place without, you know, breaking everything. Little bit of a different timber to this whole conversation when she's not scared and panicking and presumably we had actually been shooting up the place if we did things the way we were supposed to. It's just V. Just V. Only people who know me real well can use my real name. Okay then. V. Mm-hmm. Is V gonna take advantage of this situation? I feel like he's going to. Well, looks like this'll be interesting. Uh huh. I'm looking for a girl. No, I feel like that's gonna lead us to places we don't want to go. And any for your thoughts? Interesting that we can just safe word out whenever we want. How do you know I'm dying? How do you know I'm dying? Deep inside, you fear this, cower before it. So what if I do? Why do you care? Of all the voices in your head. The loudest is that calling for help. Look around. All of this is your doing. That's true. What do you mean there's something in those mirrors, though? What does that mean, V? Something in those mirrors. Way back. It's a projection. Your inner landscape. What mirrors? That's what I needed. Therapy with a robo <laughs> Okay, easy, buddy. Not something I do. I'm here to fulfill your deepest, most hidden desire. But yeah, so I guess she's like hooked up. Either she's directly hooked into our brain right now, basically, or they took a scan of us at the beginning, like we know, and she's just accessing that data to know hey, what's going on here. Talk to me. I'm looking for someone. There's someone named Evelyn Parker. I used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. I asked you a simple question. Okay, Evelyn easy. Parker, not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. Well, we're afraid of death, like we did just say. Uh, just tell me where Evelyn is. Answer my question. Tell me where Evelyn is. Don't have time for a debate. Why the man just say she doesn't work here anymore? When was Evelyn last here? You know anything? Evelyn had her own story before it collided with yours. Uh, yeah, that much is clear. I know you'll find her. You always get your way. Uh, okay. Again, easy, easy. You just gonna talk in circles? Is that it? We're not here for what you think we're here for. As much as you think you're jacked into our brain. What's next? Meditation? Something like that. Try me. Hmm. <sighs> Alright, what am I afraid of? You know me well? Okay. Tell me what I'm so afraid of. It's something you don't talk about. Everybody's something other than death? Secrets. Got my own with good reason, too. Say it. Say it out loud. Not for me, but for yourself. I feel like a Twilight situation. What am I? Say it. I mean, we're alone. I had a true friend once. Now he's gone. Soon I'll be gone too. Except, I won't have anyone by my side. Everything you need, you already carry inside you. You're scared because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? Hmm. I mean, that's fantasy, right? V just wants to live, at least the way I'm playing him. It wasn't so long ago I really wanted that. Then all this shit happened. Seems like I was living in a dreamland. I just want the world to know that I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased, as if you never existed. True. Seeing as how our brain is literally being overridden. Fear of becoming someone else. Different. Also that. 
also accurate. <sighs> Void freaks me out. Death is death is death. You're gone. Game over. You can't know that for certain. Even if you've been there and back. Believe me. I've seen it. And it's fucking boring. <laughs> you haven't stopped grieving since. Or for what's to come. Grieving for us or grieving for Jack? Possibly both. Uh, what I've been through, tough to move on from that. Death was something that happened to other people. Hell, that I dealt to others. Now my number will be up. It wasn't enough I died once. I have to go and do it again. Death's absurdity. The futile struggle before. These terrify you. This really is just like a therapy session, huh? I went in here expecting like some like over the top, very like cyberpunk genre esque, like strip club, sex scene, all that type of stuff. But this is interesting, actually. So what now? Uh oh. Oh, maybe. You find out what it is you need to do. We just jizz. You're gonna tell me. He's gonna lie down and have a little sleep here. V's not here to wind up having some intimate relationship with someone. He's on a mission. We're out of here. Samurai. Ha! What's going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. I need to talk to you. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake. Ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? No, 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 no. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Uh, I I want to make her feel better. Like it's not her fault. I to say that wasn't what I expected. I was hoping for thrills, not some gloomy souls. No, you weren't hoping for anything. You're here on a mission. Baby, I don't decide what happens in here. Your subconscious drives everything. Hmm. Next time, remind me to tell my subconscious to go fuck itself. <laughs> um, just don't tell anyone about this, okay? Came here to talk to you, Sky, not some soppy algorithm. So that's interesting. So, like, we are getting confirmation here that they literally, like, they're. It's not just like that their memories get wiped. They're basically just being controlled by the AI or the algorithm or whatever. That's wild. Evelyn Parker, what do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems own little bubbles it's a fragile ecosystem people like you barge in violate it try to rearrange no 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 no, no. you got the wrong idea i'm not trying to rearrange anything at all <sighs> well, i'm not trying to threaten her here jesus uh i need your help please help me please i'm no threat but she could be in trouble just want to talk to her, find out if she's okay. In case you haven't noticed, doll work's not the most secure job in the world. One day you're in, the next you're out, and maybe gone. Anything out of the ordinary happened here lately? I feel like everything here is out of the ordinary, but... Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. Interesting. So we got... Shit like that happens around here way more often. Yeah, okay, see, that's kind of what I was expecting. That doesn't seem like it's out of the ordinary. Tom, two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. Uh-huh. So a customer attacked her. Customer attacked her. I guess. I don't know. Real mess that was. Security barged in, handled it. Things went silent. You don't go around asking questions here. Better off not seeing, not hearing. Keeping your head down. Uh, where did it happen? Where did it happen? Her booth. Told you. Which one is her she booth? Was with a client. 
Kind of just stand there or tell me a number. Eleven. All right. Occupied now. This booth occupied now. Nah. I think it's been out of order since. Um... He died. Need to get inside that booth somehow. Yeah. And do what? None of your biz. Can you open it or not? Sure. Just don't bother me again. Ever. Talk to Tom. Who's Tom? Who's Tom? We know this already, but... A doll. Like the rest of us. Oh! What do you think? An XBD star? Where will I find him? VIP area. Booth 2. I think. Thanks. See? You turn out to be useful after all. A little, a little bit more sassy than it needed to be. You know, just saying. She was helpful. I... The whole thing is super interesting, right? And I'm actually probably going to have to wrap this one up here because we are hitting a little bit of time. But last little bit of theorizing for this series before we call it quits, right? So, or not even theorizing, just discussion. The concept of these dolls is really interesting. And, like, there's obviously a lot of debate to be had around the morality of it. What's right? What's wrong? Is it rape or sexual assault or anything like that when... It's something much like sex work is in the real world when people are willingly putting themselves into the situation for pay and things like that. But of course, taken to a new level because now people's minds are being either manipulated, their memories being erased, or in a way being shut off while still being cognizant of what's happening because the algorithm is technically in control or at least influencing them. And when that's happening, like, again, obviously they're cognizant of what's going on, but they're not their normal selves, as we saw when we pulled her out by using the safe word. And she was in the experience, and then it was jarring for her coming out of it but also didn't fully know what had happened. Like, she was asking, did I do something wrong, this, that, and the other thing. It's definitely very, very interesting. And conceptually very cool, but also, again, a little concerning given the morality of everything. So, all interesting all around. Uh, this is definitely an interesting plot line, but again, it's something that I will have to pursue on my own time. So... Uh, if you guys desperately do want to see more, let me know, and I will take that into consideration. But for now, we're going to call this series closed. So for those of you who stuck around and enjoyed it while I was uploading it, thank you all so much. I do very much appreciate it. Maybe we'll return to it in the future, but for now, we're moving on to other things. So thank you all so much for watching. I do very much appreciate it. I hope you all have a good night. Stay safe and healthy out there. And remember... Be good to each other. Bye now.